Welcome, this video is from kdtech.org. This is the routing of the Samsung charge even after the updates. I want to say thanks to XDA developers, I am nuts, uh, for this information and all the others who have redistributed it. Um, we're going to go ahead and go through a walkthrough. First, you'll see the uh, XDA developers website. Um, this is where you will get the downloads from and it will link you to another page as well as just throw you a download right off the bat. Um, and that's how we'll get started. One of the items you need to download was the Odin file. Um, the other is a .tar file. The Odin file is a piece of software that we're running now. See it pop up on the screen. And that is basically your interface to the phone. The .tar file is basically the phone's operating system essentially. Um, just to make it easy. That's your clean copy of the Android system. Once you're running the Odin software, uh, it'll populate on your screen as you see. Go ahead and remove the battery from the telephone before ever plugging it in. This is assuming you've already plugged the phone in once to the computer, which will automatically download the drivers you're going to need for this process. Um, now with the battery out, hold the volume button down and plug it into the computer. If you did it correctly, you should see the little yellow Android guy with the word download populate. On the computer screen, you're going to see a COM, some number pop up. In my case, it says COM3. You, it could be COM12. It could be COM7. It doesn't matter. It's arbitrary. It doesn't have any meaning to you. Um, as long as it is showing a COM, you're good to go. That means the phone connected appropriately. Okay, now, this is very important. You must hit the PDA button and only that button. PDA. From there you go up and select your .tar file. Now before you begin, this is your chance to back out. Um, you have the potential to brick your phone now. I cannot be responsible for your phone. So be forewarned, it has happened to other people. Um, I've done this several times with great success along with many, many other people on the message boards. You go ahead and click start after you've selected your file. And uh, it will begin its process. During this process, do not, do not disconnect your phone. Uh, you will again potentially brick your phone. It's very, very likely. At this point, you should see a little green bar starting. Um, be patient. Uh, you're looking at about five minutes to ten minutes. Some people have gone a little faster than that, but that seems to be the average. If you get stuck in this system uh, where you're running like 30 minutes, uh, you going to have to make some hard decisions there. I would suggest reading the XDA developer website before you continue if you're going to rip the plug out. But again, I've never had those problems and many, many other people have done this successfully uh, without issue. Bar is progressing along now. Uh, we're going to get ready to speed things up here a little bit. Simultaneously, while the bar is progressing on the computer on the Odin program, you're going to see the a little blue, bluish color bar progressing on the telephone. Um, again, you're looking at this, uh, it's about four times sped up. Now we're going to get a little closer here. Uh, jump back over to the Odin software. Um, it's about to finish up. What will happen when it's done, the uh, Odin software is going to show you a uh, green box and it will say pass and then the telephone itself will just stay blank. The download image will disappear and uh, We'll do a little visual instruction here, but basically you can just go ahead and unplug it and we'll get ready to drop the battery back in. Okay, there we go. There's your uh, pass image. Now uh, we'll transfer over to the phone here and uh, you can go ahead take the cable out. Pop the battery on inside there.
And once you get the battery in, you can go ahead and power it up. Okay, the phone every time jumps into the boot screen. Go ahead and just select reboot by hitting the home button and the phone will go through its little cycle. Now the following times that I've done this I never ran into any issue and it takes a minute longer than usual but it eventually boots up. The first time I did it I was stuck on the uh, Verizon Samsung charge eyeball this little mechanical eyeball here. I could not seem to get past that point. I took the battery out and put it back in and it immediately went into the startup mode and there's been no problem since. Uh, all following flashes of the dot tar that I did took without issue. And this one too. You're going to jump right into the screen. It is its first time starting up. Now a lot of people erase the cache, do a bunch of different things. I did not. I left everything alone and uh, I'm good to go. Uh, keeps all my apps, software, what have you, um, text messages, all my accounts were still logged in. Um, but again, uh, generally it's recommended that uh, you kind of redo everything, but uh, I've been successful without it. Um, now we're going to have to verify that you're rooted. Some rooting processes then add in super user. This rooting process did not. Um, that's a clean .tar file. So you're going to have to go to the uh, marketplace and download super user as your first thing. If super user downloads and runs, uh, you are rooted and that's your verification process from there we can add tethering and everything else. Um, something to consider uh, basically if you want to go back to your original restore you can just go ahead and go through this process again and don't put super user on, don't put anything else on it, you can delete those and then do the updates and if you do the updates uh, your phone will be back to normal um, for turn in purposes if you have to return it. But uh, don't do the updates. If you do the over-the-air updates, it will unroot the telephone um, right there. So you want to select the middle for later. Um, those may populate a few more times and then they'll eventually go away. If they don't, you can go to the XDA developers website. There is a forum on how to change those so you don't get them anymore. But if you turn them off, you'll miss them. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go to the marketplace here. You're going to go ahead and go for super user first. And select that. Okay, since I already have super user, it populates and says it's installed. Uh, you would have to select install uh, since this is your first round. Instead of saying open there, it would say install. I'm going to select open so you guys can see it. That's what it looks like if it's running correctly. Now I'm going to go back into the market and I'm going to download Tether. Uh, again, this is something I've already done. I'm using Barnacle. There's many different versions. You can try stuff out, see what works for you. Some are slower, some are faster. Um, it's the first one that comes up. Select it just by typing in the word Tether. Hit open. And there it is. It's good to go. You would select the word install if you didn't already have it. And now you are rooted. Congratulations. Now that you're rooted, if you could support my site and uh, put likes on it, it'd be much appreciated, as well as support the guys over at XDA. Thanks a lot.